Hi crafters, I'm Robbie Susan Chandler from RobbieSusanCardsAndCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Quincy, Florida, right outside Tallahassee, Florida. I'm here to share a project with you, so let's get started. Today we're going to make this beautiful card using the Hello Irresistible Sweet Collection that is one of our online exclusive only uh, products. It's not in any catalog. It's only online. And the sweet number is 161154 and it's $74.80 US money. And what's included in the sweet is the bundle Irresistible Blooms with the die set, Irresistible Blooms dies. And if you wanted just the bundle, it's number 161150 and it's $54 US money. And also in the suite, you get this beautiful paper that we'll be using today. This is called Hello Irresistible and its number is 161139. And also in the suite are these frosted dots, loose frosted dots. Now they're not adhesive on the back, they're just loose dots. And they're number 161153 and they're eight dollars. The paper is twelve fifty. So let's take a look at our card now and all the pieces that we need. So here's the front of the card and on the inside I have another piece from the die set and I made this a uh, get well card. It says Sen sending healing thoughts your way. So like I said, let's, let's look at the pieces here. So our base is for the flirty flamingo and it's 11 by 4 and a fourth, scored at 5 and a half. And then I had two 4 by 4 and a quarter pieces of basic white. One we glue on the front, one we just adhere to the front, and the other one is our inside piece. And then we need one 3 and 7 eighths inch by 5 and 1 eighth inch. We're also going to use this paper and we're going to use um, two one inch by five and an eighth inch strips. And I use two different designs. I don't know if you can see closely, but this is one design. This is another design. Put on each side so I have enough pieces to go for my class because uh, these are only six by six pieces. Like I said, they're one by five and an eighth. And I hear them on each side of this three and seven eighth inch by five and one eighth inch piece. So there's no border here. It goes right to the edges. And then I embossed it with another online exclusive uh, item. It's this set of three basic 3D embossing folders. And I use the one called Crosshatch. I don't know if you can see the design in it, but I really like this design. And the set is also one called um, I call it bubble, but I think they have a different name for it. Oh, they call it hobnob glass dots and also flowers. This is what the hobnob glass dots looks like. And this is the one called flowers. Of course, then here's the crosshatch one that we're using. So like said, that's another online exclusive and it's 161598 and it's a set of three and it's $30 for all three. Okay, so we adhered our one inch strips to each side, ran it through the um, embossing machine with the cross hatch. Now we're going to just adhere it to the front of our card. Well, let's do that real quick. Okay, so this is the next layer up. And there's just a little tiny white border around here. And the reason I put this, these strips on another white piece is I wanted this embossed, but I guess you really didn't need that other piece. You could have just appeared it, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to that and embossed that piece and saved yourself a piece of basic white. Now down the middle, I have a piece of five and eight by two and eight. And I glued to that another piece of the designer paper that's two by five and one eighth inches. And I picked this piece, this is a third piece in the set. So this was a sheet, this was a design, and this is another design. 
So I heated it, I glued it right straight down flat and just the dimensionals on the back. I wanted to raise it up in the middle a little bit. So we've got it right here in the middle. Now the next piece I put on was the little wreath and there's a little secret to this. When you cut this wreath, and I use three and three fourths by three and three fourth inch paper, but when you cut this, it actually cuts like this. So if you wanted it loose, like this piece, you'd have to snip around here. But I saw a hint on another site somewhere where a demonstrator discovered you can take the give it a whirl dies, cut the circle, and then this fits perfectly right in the middle. So when you cut it out, then you've got this cute little scalloped edge around it, and it's, you don't have to take your scissors and snip, snip, snip around. So I found that to be very, very useful and very helpful with this. So now we're going to adhere this piece. So just put a few little pieces of piece here and there. And um, don't put any adhesive out on the edge because those pieces don't actually touch. So we're just gonna pop this down here. And then I tied a ribbon with our crinkle white Sorry, tied a bow with our crinkle white ribbon here. And let's pop it on with the glue dot. This lightweight ribbon I find uh, sticks down pretty well with glue dots. Some of the heavier ribbon I have a little trouble with it. And some of the other fabric ribbons, depending on the fabric, they're a little bit hard to get to stay down. Those I like to put my um, glue dots on the little pieces here. I might have to do that with this one to get it to behave. Okay, so here's our front. We need one more thing and that's our sentiment. And it's actually from Celebrating You. I used this, um, where did it go? Just for you, right there. And I stamped it on basic white, and I used uh, Flirty Flamingo. My ink's the, the same ink I used all the, on the inside and in the front of this card. And the die I used to cut it is also from Give It A Whirl. It's this little banner die right here. So I've got my sentiment here. Let's put it on the front. All right, I put it right. I'm going to offset it just a little right underneath, put it on top of that tail of that bow that was not cooperating for me. Okay, and then on my inside piece, there's another die piece here. And you can cut this a little bit bigger if you want to, but I cut this one and a half by five and a half, and it could be one and three fourths. And I just laid this die on top of it. You see it's a little bit longer. And when you pull it out, you have to be very careful because these kind of want to fall apart on you, but they stick together enough you can get them glued down. So that kind of added a little interest to the inside of my card. And that die is also from the same die set that this one's from, the Irresistible Blooms. So there we have this card, and I found it pretty simple, pretty easy, and very pretty. So I hope you like this card. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And until next time, happy crafting.